Hi everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of BWD. As you might have guessed by the video thumbnail, today we're gonna learn how to code rock, paper, scissors, leather, spock by Sheldon. And if you are new to this channel or you're back watching this video, do not forget you can find timestamps right down in the video description. Like always, all the code you're gonna see today is available on GitHub. And now, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, before getting started with coding, let me remind you that in this episode we're gonna start from the code of episode 4 of this series, where we coded rock, paper, scissors. So if you haven't watched it yet, check it out. Now let's go to the board to refresh rules and the algorithm. In rock, paper, scissors, there are three choices for each player. Each one wins against one of the other two, but loses against the other. The algorithm is pretty simple. A step 1, we're gonna get the user choice, then the computer's one, and a step 3, we're gonna display them. Then a step 4, we're gonna check the result, and right after, we're gonna display it. Finally, a step 6, we're gonna ask if the user is down for another play. So for example, let's suppose a step 1, the user chooses rock, and the computer picks paper. Then we display them and check the result. In this case, Rock doesn't beat paper, so at step 5 we're gonna display the you lost message. So these are the exact same steps we're gonna follow also in this episode. The only difference will be a step 4, and that's because the game's rules are a little bit more complex. Now there are 5 moves in total, and each move wins against the other 2's moves, and loses against the remaining 2. Great, I hope we are on the same page now. But if that's not the case, just write down in the comment section below your doubts and questions. But again, I highly suggest you to first watch episode number 4. Great, after cloning the repo, let's start by creating a new main file which is gonna be identical to the code we wrote in episode 4. Let's open it and start from here. First, we must update the computer lose variable. This dictionary works this way. We pass the player's choice as a key, and we get the computer's move which loses against the player's. So for example, if the player chooses rock, then the computer loses if its choice is scissors. Pretty easy, right? So we can say that this dictionary replicates the game's rules. And as we have just seen, the game's rules are different now, so let's update it. First of all, there are 5 moves in total, so let's add also Lizard and Spock as keys of the dictionary. Next, each move loses against two moves now, so let's update the values for each key. We're gonna have a list of values now. And finally, down here, let's not forget to update the message asking for the user move. Perfect, if we go down here now, we can see that next we display the image for the moves. But now we have two more moves, so let's add to the image variable also Lizard and Spock. Alright, what's next? Here we are checking the result. If moves are identical, it's a tie. But if they are not, we must figure out who has won. However, the code here won't work. That's because now we have a list of values in the dictionary, so we must update it to something like this. Great, and now let's check if this works or not. I'm gonna go with Lizard and... Ouch, we lost. Scissor decapitates Lizard. Let's try with Spock now. Ok, also the computer chose Spock. So the reason why I've chosen Spock is because as you can see what we get on the screen is not that great. We cannot see both moves, and either we scroll up or we zoom out. But still, this doesn't look ok. An easy way to fix this is to display both images next to each other. So we're gonna drop these three lines pass both moves to a function like this, and then display the image we get out of it. So I'm not gonna explain how this function works, because I think you can figure out yourself if you have completed all the previous episodes of this series. So just try to code it yourself, but if you get stuck, you will find it here at the top of the script. Great, and now let's see how this looks. I'm gonna go with Lizard, and great! Computer chose Spock, so we have the larger images and yeah, 
I would say way better now. Let's try another time. Great, it works. And notice how the function should be able to work even if we zoom out or in. Great, we have finally come to the end of this episode. If you like it, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any question or doubt, just write it down in the comment section below. And with that said, see you in the next one. Ciao!